we've had a pretty rough year um, in our family. Uh, Robin has a sister named Cindy, and um, she was, a lot of you may know that some 17, 18 years ago, she was a product of a random act of violence and someone doused her with acid and she had full depth burns over 70% of her body and had to have uh, 20, 25 surgeries, face all over her body and she fought through that and she came through it but then just this last spring uh, she had a serious heart problem and she actually had to have an artificial heart transplant. She survived that and was up walking around and then unrelated had a stroke and uh, made the decision to, to have the machines turned off. Um, while I was working with getting all that done with Robin's sister, uh, my sister died. Um, so we lost uh, my sister and Robin's sister within about a month of each other. Then my constant companion, Maggie, my dog, <laughs> died right in the middle of all of it. I just, I, I hated that. Then just in the last uh, few weeks, Robin's other sister uh, went in for open heart surgery, got through it okay. Now she's had a stroke. Um, she has a beautiful daughter named Jill. We got a, a message from her the other day talking about uh, her ex. She had been divorced and her ex had passed away. I just, um, I just felt like it's a great message for you and for everyone at home to hear. Will you read what Jill had to say? My ex-husband and father of my two youngest children was tragically taken last week doing what he loved. There are no rules for the ex-wife. I looked. I wasn't sure how I was supposed to feel, act, or be. I was distraught, particularly for my beautiful and devastated children. He'll never get to walk Madison down the aisle or meet his grandchildren. The sadness holds my heart tight. Don't get me wrong. We had both moved on, both remarried, and both very happy. I tell this story for a reason. I couldn't find anything on how to walk through this gracefully and respectfully. I know there are times of sheer dislike of our exes. I totally get it. I wish I had behaved differently. Life is so short. Encourage the relationships that matter. Grab someone's hand and squeeze hard. Give up being right. You may be wrong. I was. I often am. And I will be better. Rest in peace, John Gregory Camp. Sometimes it takes something tragic to look back and say, I was a right fighter. I was wrong some of the times when I was so convinced I was right. And I, I wish I had done it differently.